Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully great. Today's video is going to be on a new product from Chemical Guys. It's going to be, we just picked this up the other day. Their Hydro Charge Ceramic Spray Coating. This is supposed to be like a ceramic coating. You know, the ones like in the little bottles. I never used it, so I can't compare them. But it's supposed to compete with that. A little bit easier to use. And then it's supposed to, on the bottle it says last up to 12 months. And that's going to be with your maintenance wash and stuff like that. But uh, before we get started, this vehicle's washed yesterday. I cleaned it. I did a couple of videos on tire dressing on this on the on the vehicle. But today we're going to have to strip it. Make sure we don't have no sealant on it because I have that uh, poly wax on there. And we're going to strip it with their clean slate from Come on Guys. We're going to wash it. And then after I wash it, I'm going to be wiping it down with a uh, IPA um, and alcohol in uh, water mix 50 50 you can make your own or you can buy a product i usually just make my own and then we're going to make sure it's clean and then i'm going to check over the paint make sure i don't have the clay bar i shouldn't because this jeep's pretty much well maintained before winter i clay barred it and did all that um before i put the poly wax and then plus we maintain it a lot and there's no tar on it i'm going to check a couple spots i'm going to do a test spot on some iron x make sure i don't have no iron on it so if your vehicle's not maintained uh, pretty clean, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do these steps. You're going to want to use a, um, a soap that's going to strip wax, grease, stuff like that, like their clean slate, or you can use a different product. And then you're, what you're going to want to do is you want to see if you can feel for if you need to clay bar it. And then after your clay bar, you want to maybe check and use a, something like a, a decon to get rid of the iron, like a like Car Pro Iron X or a different pro product similar to it. You could use uh, McGuire's wheel cleaner. I believe that works. I haven't tried it, but I've seen videos where you can do that and that will remove iron. And then you can check your paint for any light scratches and swirls if you want to do a polish. Those are the steps before this, but we don't have to do, shouldn't have to do this to this vehicle because it's pretty, you can check it out. It's pretty clean. The, the clear coat's good. We really don't have much scratches, so. I'm gonna get going. And plus two, you're gonna wanna do this in the shade. Also, when you apply this product, I usually have my shade for a certain time. In between the houses, I might run out of time and put it in the garage so we can apply the product. So let me get washing. I'm not gonna have a video on that. And then we'll start using the products. For, then we'll check and see if I do need a clay bar and stuff like that. And then we'll apply the products. So wash it if you guys wanna see any beating right now with the vehicle clean, because it's well maintained before I try to strip everything off. And then we'll see what it looks like before I dry it and get it ready for that hydro charge. New product too, just came out. I'm gonna be a couple spots. I do have the clay bar to get it ready. I did this door, the, just the bottom, like here down, there's just a few spots. So I did this door and uh, the back door, just to get some of the spots that were on there that I felt. That looks pretty smooth. And if, as you can see too, I shouldn't have to uh, put a polish on it. That clear coat looks nice still. Now I'm using a lot of some water, spraying the little pan apart with the water like this. And then I'm spraying the heck out of it with the uh, Kimball Guys Beach Shine. Use it. Don't be afraid to use a lot. And then you won't uh, get those scratches and use your clay bar. Just go back and forth. And see if it picks anything up. This Jeep don't have a lot because it's pretty much cleaned all the time. Get here. Just mainly the bottom. A little couple spots that I had to pick up. See? Only picked up a couple spots. So that's pretty good. So it ain't bad. So I'm prepping this Jeep for that product will be pretty easy. Just figure showing you this is what you're going to do for a step that you didn't know uh, if you need to. Even on new vehicles you may have to do something like this and then check for uh, any marring if you have to do a polish. But as you guys can see that's pretty good. I'll get lucky you don't have to pause what do you guys yeah, think the guys that uh, never basically knew what to look for when clay barns a little trick right here you take a sandwich bag and you just rub it and feel it you really can feel the paint and you can feel if any if you need to do any clay barn there's a couple spots in here like in here there is so i'll do clay bar in that area 
and that's one way you can get your vehicle prepped for any wax or ceramic coatings for this new product so this video so I can you know I can prove that I'm, I'm getting this the paint prepped the best I can and I'm putting some iron X on here and I sprayed it spraying it down it's getting a, it's picking up some spots I got the other side already kind of waiting to squirt off rinse off you can see you can see how well I kept this vehicle clean There's a couple spots here here just not bad you know just a few little spots but uh, at least we're getting this stuff getting this Jeep ready for it you can wipe it in Yep, I'm going to just square it off and continue to get it prepped up. You can see how clean it is. Just a few spots for the iron remover. And I'm going to rewash it with that clean slate too. And then um, do my IP rinse. You know, spray alcohol and water. Get this paint as clean as possible before we apply that product. Actually, it would be easier to just apply the product. Actually, it's prepping your paint. The key. Get this stuff to last. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna put it in the garage. I'll let the paint cool off in a couple minutes before I. Okay, we got the vehicle already prepped with all those steps. I even put the IPA wipe, alcohol, and water. You can see how look how clean that paint is. So look at that. Look at that shine. I really like uh, Jeep did a really good job painting this Jeep right here. This one, the silver with the clear coat. So I even noticed on my Dodge Charger pump crazy. The clear coat doesn't seem as thick on that on the Charger. It does on the Jeep. I wish they would have layered it a little more. And it feels like, too, on this, the Jeep, the clear coat is harder than the uh, Charger. They must use maybe a different, uh, different type of paint in Canada where they built the Charger. I'll have to try to see if I can do some research on that. But that's what it feels like to me. They did a good job on this, this uh, paint job on this Jeep. All right, enough of that. You're here for the Hydro brand new bottle. See that? Hydro Char Ceramic Spray. And then basically... This is apply in a cool area, and that's what we're going to do into a Microsoft uh, pad. And then we're going to let it sit for two to three minutes, and then we're going to wipe it off. And then we're going to do that right now. And then towards at the end of the video, we'll, we'll go over to the vehicle and see what it looks like. We'll see what it looks like in the sun. And then then we'll talk about the, the product, some of the directions, what it's made for, um, things like that. At the end of the video, we'll do that. Right now, we'll get this to apply in. So... All right, let me grab our stuff and open this up, and let's get going. Okay, we're going to start applying the product. Make sure you wear some gloves right here. I get these at Harbor Freight. Make sure I have uh, some gloves on, rubber gloves. And plus, too, I like on your Microsoft towels or pads, you're going to be wanting to throw these away, I think. Just throw them away. Um, you can probably clean your Microsoft towels if you want. Do soap and let them soak and then wash them. But I'm going to probably just toss mine because this is supposed to be, like, you know, I guess hardened like a glass. Who knows? First time using it. So it's basically what it says is you apply it, we're going to go back and forth, and then we're going to go long ways and, you know, put it on and then take it off. <laughs> basically, we're going to go long ways and then back and forth to get it in there. It says to let you can buff off in 30 seconds, but they recommend one to two minutes. And then it depends on climate. Um, the You will see improvements even after 24 hours. And plus two when i was reading too on their website is you can layer this you can put two coats on this so they save up to 12 months coverage you know protection but uh who knows we'll try it out we'll find out and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put this on here and see if it lasts 12 months or at least close to it and then basically what i was thinking since that's the case you could probably put a as long as your vehicle is staying clean every six months you know you don't have to reclay bar it or stuff like that um, you just have to see or maybe sooner maybe every th three months to see because what I was reading where they were saying um, yeah you can apply it twice and their whatever test they applied it up to four times uh, the product layered it so you can probably do it every couple months got me a Microsoft shaking up real good first time using it make sure you don't have no buttons or any metal on your clothes we're just gonna Get going here, kind of do it like that video. See, three basically, kind of like spray it three times. 
here, here, and here. We'll see how it flies. It's flying a little bit, so let's try this out. Start in the middle the best I can. Goes on clear. I might have to shut my light off so I can see. I like this pad too, it's small. Uh, apply it three minutes. Try not to get it out of plastic, but I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a lot that little bit goes a long way. Do my best not to get it out of plastic. But that's pretty much it did a lot. Just those three little sprays. You could probably do a lot of vehicles with this. Again, work it in there. Plastic. I got it on a plastic there. Kind of shined it up. And get a towel. The best thing too, probably, just to be, would it be painted? Man, I don't have enough paint. If it comes right off on a plastic, look, wipe it off. Right away. I don't know if you can put it on plastic. I can read if you can. I can always apply it. But yeah, it comes right off the plastic if you get it on there. Wipe it off while it's wet. That's it. Alright. Let that sit. I'll do this half the hood and then I'll take the camera and we'll do a close shot. I'll just put a little bit on here. Keep your mic and towel handy in case you're on your plastic because this deep has a lot. Alright, hopefully you guys can see that. Goes on nice. It's clear. So I recommend going back and forth and then like this. Make sure you're getting that we're getting that covered. We'll let that sit and we'll wipe it off. Through here too. Check it out. All right, we'll let that sit for it's almost been a little over 30 seconds. On this part, we'll go. We'll wait a minute, so I'll shut this off and we'll Just continue. Let this cure for about one to two minutes. So all we got to do to take this off is take your microfiber towel, put it on here, and wipe it off. Like wipe it off. Just like that. Okay, you just probably have to buff it out. Flip it over. Yeah, you gotta work it in. First time you using this, so yeah. All right, I got that stool if you wanna get over in the hood. I got to right here. You should have gloves on. Here I'll buff it all. I got gloves on. You should have gloves on. Yeah. Here. It seems like it's hazing. Probably got to really buff it. Now it's got. You got to just work it off. You got to put some effort in getting it off. It's streaking real bad. I think we were over a couple minutes too, so that could be a reason why. Let me grab a different Microsoft towel. It's streaking that. What I did is I got a, a different Microsoft towel, something a little bit more, you know, flush, plush, or whatever you want to call it, more, more fat microns, and it came right off. So these would probably be good to just kind of get it buffed off. Got these from Shinies. And then use one of these. I hate these are my good ones too. I just have to order some more. But then they come right off. If you guys hopefully can see the half of it, can you see it? See any difference? I kind of don't see no difference, but more like a lot of here. Let me shut the light off. Out in the sun, we'll probably see some good difference. Plus, this thing's clean anyway. But, all right.
but continue to go to get used to the product plus two pot it seems like you don't need to use a lot so with this video you guys can pretty much learn from my mistakes i'm using too much stuff like that and you guys can tweak out what you gotta do because it spreads pretty good you don't have to use a lot at all I wonder what the Mac is max to leave it on. Try to get kind of my step coverage up there. There we go. Got that hood done, let that sit, and I'll buff that off. It smells like it smells like a cleaner, like a solvent. It does. Smells like a, a paint solvent. There we go. Let me add some more right here just in case I missed it. Alright, I'll be buffing this off. What time is it? I'll give it. I'm watching my clock timer. I'm not going to film doing the whole vehicle. Just set it up and then we'll look at it. I wonder if you can get it on, put it on plastic. I don't know. Buff it off. I shut the light off to uh, see if we can get a different look at it. Get my other Microsoft towel. I've been using this one just to wipe it off plastic. And then we'll see how this goes. Back and four. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can really see it now, getting down. Yeah, I just got to buff it in and out. Not use so much product. I think that was my problem in the beginning. Just using too much because it's coming off a lot better using less. Yeah. Let me get this and we'll turn the light on. It's still smearing a little bit. Off. Yeah, it's a lot better with this one. I don't see no scratches, new scratches in the paint. Looks nice. Okay, I started about 12.05. Right now it's a little like 12.16. And granted, I'm making a video on it. It's going to take a little bit longer. But let's see how long it takes me to do the rest of the Jeep. Well, granted, I'm not doing the, you know, you're not doing the roof and stuff like that, so it's a little bit quicker. But we'll do a timeout. But so far, that so all the hood, it looks nice. Got it. When you're put, putting this on here too, it's hard to see. You're gonna want to try to, you're gonna want to look at different angles to make sure you got coverage. You know, especially when a Jeep door is a little bit shaped oddly, and uh, yeah. And then make sure you guys, you know, watch the whole video because at the end of the video. We'll talk about the product and we'll you know tell you some of the tips that uh, we think will be helpful on this product and we'll explain more about the product at the end of the video but I'm almost done and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we'll take it outside the kids at school he wants to do a little bit of the talking too it comes right off the plastic the rubber now is a little hard to take off gotta work it out off but it comes off if you take it off right away it'd be cool if you could put it on plastic okay I was going okay on the on this hydro charge right here now the directions is basically said always applied to a cool clean dry surface out of direct sunlight start off by washing the entire vehicle with your favorite come on guys shampoo for best results best results clay bar and polish away scratches if needed one surface is cool, clean, and dry. Spray hypo charge onto applicator and then buff off with a Microsoft towel. And then you're going to need a couple of them. And then you're going to let this sit for one to two minutes and then buff it off. And then after 24 hours, you should, we should have a nice deep shine. We'll find out. And basically, it basically says on here too it's a hypercharged ceramic spray coating is an ultimate ceramic treatment. 
that delivers a premium high gloss candy finish. And then what else? I'm not going to read the whole thing. And it gives you the protection of a ceramic coating with the ease use of quick application of a spray. You can use this as a standalone or you can spray use this on top of um, the Carbon Flex C9 from Chemical Guys Ceramic Coating. What's uh, applied the silica with hydrocharged hardings to create a strong bond that not only protects but also gives incredible crystalline shine to all paint colors. Basically you're getting um, pretty much what it sounds like too. You're getting a, a benefit of a ceramic coating. And I believe this does have that uh, SI stuff in it. I'll have to look it back up. Yeah, according to the website too, this does have SIO2 ceramic spray in it. So how much, who knows. I'll do a little bit more research and see if we find out how much it's in it. But basically, if um, this works as a ceramic coating with the spray, a little bit easier to apply. Get about a year out of it. That'd be great, actually. Really would. I'm putting it on there. The uh, Hybro charge ceramic from come up guys let's take a look at it got the light off it's been uh over two hours like 130 about three hours i got done with it took an hour and 20 minutes to apply the product granted there's no real for this and that but let's do a walk around we'll check it out it does look good I'm gonna pull it outside and we'll take a look at it in the sun. I just wanted you guys to see, look at it in the garage. It does look nice. It's pretty smooth too. All right, I'm gonna turn the light on. We'll check it out. Look at that. That's pretty good. So yeah, and you can layer it back on after a while. So I'm going to go over this real quick, then we'll pull it outside. And then before I do that, tomorrow, I'm going to let this cure 24 hours. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do a water test. So that's going to be at the very end of the video, the water test. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what it, how beads, sheet, and tomorrow. Let it cure 24 hours, and then we'll do that. Kind of treating it like a, a paint sealant or any, I think, ceramic. I think that'd be a good idea so that's what we're gonna do okay so I applied this product right here now my little tips on this product we'll go over it now before I do the water test tomorrow and take it outside um, my tip is you know wear gloves for sure a ventilated area this stuff smells like a solvent so you're gonna want some fresh air coming in your garage for sure and um, definitely keep the gloves on and for taking it off, I used two Microsoft towels, um, and I used one to basically kind of like buff it off a little bit. It basically like kind of like almost like buffing it into your paint. And then my second uh, Microsoft towel, I basically took it off that way. Basically, the first one smeared it around a little bit, and the second Microsoft towel basically took the product off. That worked great for me. It, it came off uh, pretty easy that way. Um, and then. I didn't have you don't have to use a lot of product the first time we used it in the beginning you could tell it was a little bit it really uh, streaked a lot I think I uh, used too much product I went back cut back on a product and it was easier to take off and then of course when you're putting on a product you're gonna want to look at different angles of the panel to make sure you got complete coverage and that's what we did and um, look didn't use much at all I mean look how much is left I mean granted the Jeep's not that big but that's it that's all. that's it this will do plenty of cars I mean this will last a long time doing the cars or if you did a another man I say you could probably the way I was reading apply this twice a year you know two more times so three times a year you know and do your maintenance wash so that's it on the ceramic spray coating and um, and what else I purchased to keep up on this ceramic coating is their hydro suds ceramic car wash soap and this is supposed to help that uh, ceramic spray or if you have a ceramic coating um, next time I wash this the Jeep will look at it and see how dirty it is 
and then we'll use this soap when we wash it and I'll go over it and plus two to maintain it you can still use some bee maker that's safe for a ceramic coating same thing with your 007 detail sprays so you're gonna want to use uh, products that are gonna be safe for your the ceramic it's a ceramic uh, spray I don't think it's a true ceramic coating but it, it looks pretty close you know so you're supposed to get up to a year I mean that's my opinion I don't have no experience with ceramic coating I'm just showing you the results of this now um, if I would have polished the, the Jeep and I think I would get a nicer shine into the panels you can you know like a mirror like finish but the reason why I don't polish is because I want to preserve the clear coat um, I don't have any swirl marks or scratches in this paint to justify doing a polish on it and because when you do a polish you're, you're getting rid of clear so this is a daily driver driven vehicle so you want to preserve the clear coat as much as possible now the charger I'm gonna have to do a paint correction and get rid of um, the swirl marks and the scratches I got plenty of them on there I think it's uh, I might have did it when I clay barred it and I think a lot of it too from um, the, the body shop but that's what it looks like well, I'm gonna pull it out right here it looks pretty good so that's with that and then if you watch the video basically what I did is I washed it with the clean slate chemical guys clean slate and then I clay barred it the spots that I needed mainly on the bottom of the doors a couple spots went over a little bit extra on the uh, clay barn just to check and then then to make sure that everything was clean I used the iron X on there and then you can see in the video how clean it was it had poly wax on there from Giro's garage that's what was on the product and that lasted going on almost six months and it was still lasting so you can definitely get close to a year off of that poly wax also I know I'm going on and on and on but I'm just trying to explain some of the stuff we used on it so if you guys ever you wanna if you're gonna use this uh, product hopefully this video will help you all right well, we'll get ready to move the dogs and we'll take it outside and let's look at it under the sun it is what it looks like in the sun not too bad it's shiny couple spots another tip too if you get it on your plastic wipe it right off it comes right off and you won't have any problem with getting out of plastic gives it a nice deep look let's we'll see what it looks like in 24 hours there you go We'll do that water test tomorrow at 24 hours. There we go. Alright. Can't wait to do that water test. Alright guys. Keep watching. It's been 24 hours since the hydro charged ceramic spray has been on there. Check a look at it. I got the sun coming from my west, so I'll try to not to be in the sun. Here you go. Looks pretty clean. I don't know to me it kind of looks like the same if it, it did yesterday in this in its silver to its heart um, it's, it's gonna be hard to see but it looks clean it looks nice I mean it's shiny and I wanted to do a nice test without washing it you know she took it to work today and um, she drove on it and it had dirt all over the doors and that little light dirt and you'll be able to pick it up and then the hood was a little bit dirty also and I didn't want the hood to be dirty and doing a water test, so I did wash it real quick. Gave it a quick washing with their hydro suds. Didn't do no footage on it. It came clean, I mean, right off. I mean, it was easy, really easy to wash up with it. So, you know, I didn't want to do that, but that's why I'm letting you guys know. I mean, I did have to wash it real quick with this. And uh, so, both of them, well, let's get this water test done and get this video over with, because I'm sure you guys are all bored 
I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna throw a bucket of water on it. <laughs> Give me a second. One hand. Let me get over here because that dang sun's in a bad spot. Alright, ready? Cheating. There we go. Yeah, it just slides right off. Slides right off. Look at that. Do the gold panel. It's awesome. Cone. That stick of spray. You guys, a good water test. Tried out water with just with this, just the holes. I tell you what, I've been having some bad luck with this water test today. Dropped my other GoPro, broke the case. The noise in the background, I had to keep stopping. Pretty good. What do you guys think? All right. Well, that's it for the video right here. We're applying it. Some of the products we use to clean it. And uh, you guys got to see the, the sheeting, the water test, the beading, on different uh, settings on the nozzle. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice. It looks good. I kept just I kept having some bad luck doing this water test. It just it took a while trying to get it set up and the background noise and that. So I'm sorry about that, and I appreciate you guys watching this. So yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna try my best to do an, a monthly update on this stuff. Let's see if this hydro charge ceramic spray coat lives up to all the hype. So that's what we're gonna find out. So every month I'll try to do a, a video on it and see if we're still getting these kind of results that we've seen today. And I want to be using that the soap to. Um, still getting. We're going to be using their soap to see if this helps prolong it. Now my goal is with this product, if it's holding up for six months and I don't have to clay bar it, or yeah, clay bar it and all that good stuff, I want to put another coat on this like before winter, maybe September, October, and. Um, because you can layer this what I read you can put two coats on it and then if you go on their website you can even read where 
they're doing they were doing tests where they put up to four coats on this um, in between a year so yeah if you put a coat on it maybe every six months you know then that would take away if it's keeping the vehicle clean that would take away from you clay barred it and stuff like that that long as you don't have any scratches and that where you don't have to polish so hopefully you guys follow me on that one but uh, yeah that's it so if you guys want to find out about this product if it's lasting through the hype subscribe like and comment and yeah keep watching because it's stuff we do yep well and then we'll try this out next on a vehicle when it's dirty and then we'll wash it again and then we'll show we'll go through this a little bit more detail but yeah i appreciate you guys watching this long video really do everybody's time is precious so and i want to thank brian from fab auto detailing for helping me out with some um texting me and stuff giving me little pointers about this video and this product a little bit so uh have his link down so check him out every saturday he has uh live streams family friendly show up at nine o'clock on his lives and uh we hang out we talk about detailing a lot of times we talk about food so you guys have a great one and thank you later